If you didn't take a walk outside for today, it's understandable. We have plenty of wet weather out there. You would need an umbrella if you did go outside. These showers are going nowhere anytime soon, and that's because this area of low pressure is basically giving a roundabout of rain for not only today, but tomorrow too, and even Thursday. This thing is very slow moving, very sluggish. It only went down a little bit. It was over by Chicago yesterday, and now it's sunk down into our area. What's to blame for this kind of holding it in place would be two areas of high pressure. First, we have one way up to the north in Canada, and then we have another one out to the west. So that's giving some sinking air and basically holding it in place. Also, we have our friend Arthur that moved way off to sea, but we're still having some winds that are pretty gusty this afternoon because of that, or this evening, I should say, now that we're at 6 o'clock. Satellite and radar here showing that rain just keeps on coming in a circular motion. So, like I said, not drying out any time for tonight. That rain will come and go. Precip totals so far, month to date and year to date, pretty impressive. We have rainfall totals of since January 1st at 20 to 20. 21 inches of rain. And how's that stack up how, to how we normally are? Clarksburg's about three inches above normal, Elkins four, and Morgantown five inches above normal for year to date totals. Now, so far this month, We've had about two and a half inches, a little bit more in some spots of rainfall since May 1st. So it's been a pretty soggy month just in general. Temperatures right now are on the cool side. We're in the mid 50s, lower 60s across our region. We don't have any mid 60s on the board right now. Big change from yesterday, right? Yesterday we were sitting in the 80s. So definitely a big difference for today. And of course, those winds are not helping. We have sustained speeds in the teens and lower 20s right now, blasting in from the east. In fact, some of you out to the east and up to the north do have that wind advisory that's up until tomorrow morning because of those gusty winds. Now for the rest of tonight, we will see that rain come and go. Temperatures in the lower 50s as we enter into tomorrow morning, upper 40s in some spots. As we go into the afternoon, that rain will arrive in bits and pieces once again. Some of you will see it while others will have a cloudy break and that trend continues into Thursday morning as well. So when do we start to dry out? Not until the end of the week. The next two days will be very similar temperatures in the low to mid 60s for both Wednesday and Thursday. Rain turn the faucet on and off. Friday 74. We do start to see that rain taper off slowly. Saturday and Sunday our chances improve where we have more sunshine and cloud cover. 80 to 82 degrees for this weekend and getting even hotter for Memorial Day. 86 possible low 90s as we enter into Monday nights. We'll have to see how that goes.